with high pick and rolls and hope his man stepping back can make jump shots. Here's Bibby for three. Yes. The Sacramento Kings shooting 41% from downtown, leading the end right now. They're fortunate right now that it's only a two-point game. And Devon's able to take it away. Bibby met by Bryant, uses the pick from Sangaila, and scores another three. Mike Bibby from downtown, and the Kings are up by one. With Devon. But right now, the guy who's got the hot hand is this guy, Michael Bibby, who shot an air ball, but then came right back, showing no lack in confidence behind the screen by Singala, then coming right back again and knocks down another one. Screen set by the same man. George for three! Sacramento's last game, Pedro got off to a slow start and then came on in the fourth quarter. Divac with the backdoor flip. It counts. In the foul. Another beautiful pass by Vlade Divac. That's what Rick Adelman said. They believe in this guy, Vlade Divac. They put the ball in his hands because they have so much trust in his decision making and the high skill level that he has. Catch, bounce it on the floor. Another layup. Strong and physically fit he was and able to run off screens for 48 minutes and still knock down jumpers late in the game. Tony Massenberg and now Stoyakovich able to race it down. That was a game that saw Kareem Rush put up a career high of 30. Bibby for three. 12 points for Bibby. Three of four from beyond that three-point line of the Kings set the present get the job done this season you recall during the all-star break Kobe had said he likes Phil as a coach but not as a person uh, Bibby fires one up and draws the foul now Steve you were saying you like the czar as a color commentator <laughs> but not as a person and I thought that was kind of hard can't we keep those conversations private well I thought I told you that in confidence no more. Uh, Phil brought up the point that he mentioned to Kobe. We're faced with the sudden reality that we may only have two or three months left together based on what Kobe decides to do at the end. So let's just make these the best two or three months we both can by you doing your part and me doing my part. And as you said, deal with now. What's going on? So Kobe thought he was fouled. He's falling in love with that left. Yes. That's the third time we've seen him put that shot up. Here's Kobe, and he is fouled. He was blocked by Rush. Bibby is also the all-time leading scorer in Arizona State history, high school uh, state basketball. Just for you, trivia buffs out there. Might end up on an idle thought later in the season. <laughs> Lakers 41 and the Kings 36. Mike Bibby in his sixth year out of Arizona. Two years ago, established himself in the postseason last year. Campbell. Some guy that came up with it. He saw the three purple jerseys. The emergency situation as the shot is blocked by Shaquille. Here come the Lakers back in transition. And Peyton lost it. Maybe met by Russell. Yes. Oh, that is so pretty. He has that effortless stroke. 7 0 run. Defensively and with his shooting. You see here the nice steal on an unhappy Gary Payton. And then at the other end, a little dribble fake and whoop. Beautiful jump shot. Lakers by eight. You're going to share with us how old you are? Is that private business? I'm not sure it's necessary. Here's Bibby. 63. 57. Oh. Good job by Christie staying in front of Bryant, leading to the turnover. That's a tough passing angle right there. Shaq flashing in. There's a foul on the jump shot by Gary Payton on Bibby. Shaq flashing in from opposite the ball. It's tough to get that passing angle and be successful. He's so strong, and he shoots that ball kind of from behind his head, a la Larry Bird, a little flick of the wrist. And that shot is money. Bibby, an 81% free throw shooter, 7 of 8. 
at the line tonight. Chris saved the potential layup there just by getting his hand up, anticipating the late pass from Vladi. 11 on the shot clock. Here's Bibby wide open. He lost Fisher off a screen. And the Kings lead 82 81. The field. Kobe. Not able to hit. Rebounded by Stoyakovic. It's not the best type of shot you want to get in that particular situation. Just under three to go in the fourth. Bibby kicks it out. Here is Peeler for three. The one thing you're not going to call Peeler is reluctant to shoot. No, he's not. But he's open. If he's open, he's got to shoot. Here is Peyton. Now Bibby pushing it down. Three on two. Peeler spinning. It counts. And the foul. Anthony Peeler will go to the line. Well, he didn't get the threes from downtown, but he may get the three this way. Go to the foul line and finish in this playoff, taking advantage of the transition opportunities. Bibby keeps pushing it. Peel makes a nice pullback move and then converts as he gets fouled by Jordan. Now the chance for Miller. What are you talking about? Two heavyweights going at it. Lakers lead by one with a minute. And a half left in the fourth. Bibby for three. Yes! <laughs> oh. Mike Bibby has given the Kings a 100 to 98 lead. He is four of eight from downtown. He wasn't even involved in the play. I think now that he's got his free throw difficulties happening, Lakers aren't even going to look for him. Sacramento in possession. They lead by two. And the foul is called. Lakers with their fourth team foul, not shooting foul. It is on Peyton. That's his third. Sacramento with 14. On the shot clock, 52 seconds to go in regulation. Peyton right up on Bibby. Bibby for three. Yes! My goodness. Mike Bibby, who has emerged as one of the outstanding clutch shooters in the game that goes back to the postseason two years ago has been killing the Lakers from downtown. I'm not sure, Steve, you can afford to go behind the screen when you're talking about guys like Bibby and Stoyakovich. They just shoot it too well.